House Majority Leader. Let's hear it all loud enough for the band. Constitution. And do you know what Fred said? Yes. Do you know what Fred said? Yes. Fred said yes. yes. And so I ask you now, back then it was very few people, and as the sem uh, Representative Honda said, there were not marches in the street. There are few people who could stand up, but now we stand together. So I ask you, will you be part of this movement, not just today, but every day? This is the Constitution of the United States of America. When it was written, it had deep and fundamental flaws. Slavery was written into this document. Categories of us as people were excluded from its rights and privileges. But we have been on a journey to open this document to include all of us. Amendment guarantees us the freedom of our own conscience and beliefs of our religion and says that the government shall not establish or prefer one religion over another. It gives us the freedom of speech to express ourselves. It gives us the freedom of assembly, which you are exercising. petition the government which is based on the consent of the governed. Do you say yes to the Constitution of the United States of America? Yes! The 
Fourth Amendment gives you the protection from unreasonable search and seizure. The Fifth Amendment gives you due process under the law before you are deprived of your liberty. The Sixth Amendment gives you the right to an attorney at your side. The Eighth Amendment protects you from excessive bail and cruel and unusual punishment. The Thirteenth abolished slavery except in the instance of crime. The Fourteenth Amendment guarantees us equal protection under the law. The Fifteenth Amendment struck down the prohibitions and restrictions of race in voting. And then it took another two generations before the suffrage movement secured women the right to vote. The day after Donald Trump won the presidency in his election, we said, Donald Trump, we'll see you in court. But today, we're doing the thing that's even more important. We're going to see this movement the consent of the governed, exercising its First Amendment rights each and every day so that we preserve the values and we continue the transformation of this country, the long walk for freedom that we've been on together. Thank you so much for being here today, and let's keep up the fight.